We're here at BB King's in New York City. This is the final press conference before the Garcia Burgess fight. That's Saturday, January 25th. It's at Madison Square Garden. It's promoted by Top Rank. It's going to be a promising 2014 season, and it'll be televised on HBO, Boxing After Dark. So let's go to the press conference. Finally, a uh, great, great favorite here in um, uh, New York. Uh, he's appeared at uh, Madison Square Garden numerous times. He's on the hunt now for a light heavyweight title. He's fighting Matt Vanda uh, on Saturday night. Uh, we are privileged to have him fight uh, in Las Vegas on the uh, Bradley Marquez card uh, last October. Please welcome from Long Beach, Long Island, Shawnee Monahan. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. I know it's cold out there. I'd like to thank Top Rank, and I'd like to thank my opponent, Matt Vanda. Took the fight on short notice, and uh, you don't see many guys with 60 fights still out there these days, so it's going to be a good, tough fight. But Madison Square Garden is my backyard, and I'm ready to do what i got to do. Thank you very much. Now, Sean, tell us, you're, against, uh, you're, you're going up against a real veteran here. Yeah. Uh, Vanda, t tell us a little bit about what you know about him and, and what your strategy is. Um, Matt's a very experienced guy. He's got 60 fights. I've seen him fight many times myself. And uh, my strategy is just the same as everybody else. Just break him down and just stay relaxed and do what I do naturally. Okay. And, and tell us about your little your training camp. With anything new, different? Just, just very cold, that's all. <laughs> we got the work done. It was pretty, pretty brutal out there from time to time. But... Um, we also, another another situation we had was we didn't know who we were going to fight right away. I was supposed to fight a big tall guy. He bailed out. So then uh, Matt took the fight about five weeks ago, and we ended up fighting, um, sparring with shorter guys like uh, Curtis Stevens and guys like that to get ready for Matt. Yeah, I've seen Matt fight before. Yeah, he can also be sort of a brawler type, it seems like. Uh, okay, anything else new? How, how'd you make it into snow here today? Today we were at it. It's been snowing here in New York City. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're used to that. It's been a long, cold winter, but they gave me a beautiful uh, hotel room at the Affinia over there, so me and my wife were laid up with my little son, and we made it over here, no problem. How's your hand? Last time we spoke, your hand was a little... Oh, yeah, I almost forgot about that. My hand's 100%. I, I torn a ligament in that Roger Control fight. I hit him on the top of the head and uh, got a little tear there, but it's 100% now. You want to say a shout-out to your fans out there? I just thank you to everybody very much. Keep your eyes peeled because I'm going to be a world champion. Hey, hey, and how's Joe Higgins, your trainer, doing? Joe's Joe. Joe's the man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Golden Gloves are coming up pretty soon. So, yeah, uh, Joe's got about 15 guys in the Golden Gloves, so I'll be in the crowd cheering them on. Sean just finished six weeks of camp. He had two weeks of pre-camp. Uh, as always, he's on weight. He's had well over 130 rounds of sparring. Uh, his nutrition, his rest has all been right on the money. Uh, mentally, he's 100% prepared, and uh, we think Matt Band is going to bring it. He's got 60 pro fights. He fought a lot of name boxes, so we're not taking him lightly. By all means, we expect him to give us a hard time for a little while, but we do expect Sean to uh, break him down and uh, hopefully stop him somewhere midway. Uh, and if we have to go 10 full, we go 10 full because he's ready for that as well. Yeah, Van has got some uh, big records there. I've, I've uh, seen him quite a few times. Yes. He's got a big strategy, strategy for him. I mean, he's definitely, you know, a pro out there. Well, quite frankly, uh, we did spar a lot of guys that kind of like uh, in his form and his size and his style of fighting. So the strategy is... There is no strategy. Just be prepared to adjust to anything that he has to adjust to because that's how we roll. You know, uh, I think Sean's jab flies under the radar. I also think a lot of people don't know a lot about him right now, but they will after this fight for sure. Hey, and how's he been to train? Does he listen? No, no, no. Uh, there's nobody that listens better. He's probably one of the greatest examples to have in a boxing gym because, you know, all the other boxers look up to him because he has a strict itinerary. Sean's never late. He trains three times a day. He rests in between those training periods and he eats all the right foods. He knows how to shrink his stomach without having to deprive himself of calories and uh, he'll make weight. He'll be a half a pound under like he is for every fight tomorrow and he'll probably grow a little bit between tomorrow and the fight, but he's not going to gain 20 or 30 pounds because that's ridiculous. He's going to come in there with great healthy legs and be prepared to go to long haul if he has to. Hey, 
Thank you very much. Hey, hey, we also hear you got some, a lot of Golden Glove people coming up. Yeah, I got 15 kids in the New York Golden Gloves, and I got Patrick Day on the ESPN card the following Friday, and he's uh, a protege of Sean's. He looks up to Sean like a big brother, and he's another one that's in tremendous condition that we want to move the right way, but there's no doubt in my mind that youngster's going to be a world champion as well. Thank you. Always a pleasure. You're welcome.